Having to do too many pop rivets with one of these is a real pain. Today's tip top tool tip is about pneumatic pop rivet guns. So I have a piece of material and there are two holes drilled in the top, but I can't get to the backside of it with a bucking bar for a traditional dome head rivet. I couldn't get anything down this end. So I need to address only the front side. In that case, what we use is a, a pop rivet. Uh, this is pretty standard for any manufacturer putting things together, especially Land Rover. It uses a shank that's drawn out of the rivet, which takes a little ball and mashes it up inside of the piece of material, freezing it in place. These rivets have an aluminum shank so that they don't weep rust like a steel shank rivet would. So we're gonna take our piece of material here and uh, we're going to use this rivet gun. Uh, to put in uh, the material. This is a little bit different than the one we used in the intro because it's uh, set up for this size shank. Um, but basically what we do is we take the material. First, we need to prepare it. So I'm gonna use this deburring tool. I'm just gonna chase it around the inside of the hole. That's gonna make the top of the material nice and flat. So there's no debris that can get in between our rivet. Now, if you wanna get really fancy, you can use this mechanical countersink. Uh, and actually aircraft rivets are all countersunk and they do that so they seal better, and so flat rivets seal flat against the material. But we just like to get it so that the top of the material is nice and flat so we can get to these holes without any interruption. So we'll go ahead and place a rivet into this hole. Just give it a little, a little push with the tool. And there we go. Now, down here. Now, how the rivet tool is working is the shank goes inside this little orifice, which is designed for that shank of rivet, and the little puller mechanically pulls that shank out. So we'll see, we'll place it on the tool here. We'll press down the trigger, and that will cause that little puller to fire. And one, two, three, pop. And there it goes. Now the rivet is uh, popped inside, and the little shank pops down and falls out of the back of the tool. We can just put this to the side. You can actually fit quite a few of those in the back. So we can see now we have a really nicely set rivet. Doesn't have a little smiley face or anything on it. Nice and smooth across the top and sitting really nice and flat, which is pretty important. And all we had to do was pull the trigger and it set a rivet. No wrist uh, action needed. So I'll go ahead and load another one. We'll put it into the piece of work here and we'll push it down with the rivet gun. Again, just give it a little pressure on top. You can see it's nice and flat. It needs to be totally flat against the top. Then go ahead and pull the trigger and boop, there we go. Rivet is set in the material. Shank pops out the back and we're ready to load another one. So you can see these are really nicely set factory condition rivet. It took no physical labor on our part. We didn't have to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Just hit the trigger and boom goes the rivet. So it's a really nice way to do a lot of rivet setting very professionally. Pneumatic pop rivet guns, they'll save your wrists and make for a much cleaner job. There are a lot of tip top tool tips on the way, so please stay tuned. And thanks, we'll see you out on the trail.